Welcome back guys, because we can. Colon system for my milling machine. So, picked up a cheap pump off Amazon. Uh, it's no brand. Uh, it's a 120 volt uh, little adjustable flow thing on there. Uh, I'm going to scalp my dial indicator. These things are a dime a dozen. See, I have it mocked up already. Get an idea. Sorry about that, guys. I could be able to move it wherever I want. My little tube. Uh, if you look here, I actually flattened out this elbow, trying to make it a smaller magnet to hold it. Just since this is cast, not powerful enough. Uh, but yep, so that's pretty much mocked up. I had to take it apart. I just mocked up for purpose so you can see. Uh, take it apart, put the sealant and all that. And return to different adapters that actually go on the milling machine table. Uh, let me take it over and show you that. On the, on the milling machine, the fluid flows down through here, down through these holes. These are half inch NPT. So I'm going to put adapters in there run it over here on this side I am going to make my own tank pump goes inside and a filter system so it doesn't burn out the pump too fast it is a cheap pump don't expect it to last too long but what have you Let's see back up here now what I have here my neighbor hooked me up with a couple sheets of this uh, Lexan brand of polycarbonate Awesome stuff. So I think I'm going to let this soak in the sink for a couple hours and see if that helps get this stuff off. Alright, so I just cut two small pieces on the bottom of the lid. I think I'm just going to glue them on opposing corners, something like that, so that the lid locks onto the tank. And we changed our plan. We're not going to mount it to the side of the milling machine because I was afraid of something moving around is going to get busted. So we're going to put it behind the milling machine, which we'll show you here in a little bit when this puppy dries and we put it into place you see i got two blocks in there that just locks the lid into place trim off these edges clean up this joint clean off these edges let everything dry and we have a lid i have to notch out for hoses to come in and out so yeah I'm gonna trim this up and then let it dry and then we'll bring it back when we set up the all the plumbing this is still drying 
It's late at night, just pissing around. I don't know why, but I'm in a big hurry to get this done. Uh, but anyway, while it's drying, I figured I'd get the plumbing done. Ran down, got the last fittings I needed. So, first thing, this is the pump I got. I showed this to you earlier. It is a Kniffle brand pump. I figure if, it's, if it works, it works. If not, and it wasn't all that much. Got off Amazon, I think for like 30 bucks. So I had this cut to fit filter material. You see the white stuff on it. It's actually drywall dust. But I put that in front of my big fan when I was doing some demo work. So I cut a chunk of it off. I'm thinking I'm just going to wrap this pump. And I've had these things here with the thumb screw on there, the um, hose clamp, forever. <laughs> I knew I'd use them one day. I figured I'd just put this on there and clamp it down. Just to hold, uh, just to keep the small particulate and the recycled uh, coolant out of the pump, make, make it last a bit longer. Now I am worried about stuff coming through the top. I'll show you this once I get this tightened. I'll show you here in a second my plan for that. Now I can, with this thumb screw on there, I can easily take it, take it out, rinse the filter out, change my fluid, whatever I'm going to do. I'm not looking for, well this is a flood system. I'm not looking for a super amount of coal. Just enough to allow my tolling to last longer. When you're paying a uh, hundred some bucks for a packet of inserts. Alright. There we go. And I just figure I'll fold this top up. I have some tech screw sitting here. There we go. Show a tech screw in there. There you go. Just enough to seal the pump and some sort of filter system that will help save the pump and make it last a little bit longer. And sticker to the bottom. Instead of mounting it to that uh, PVC board that I drilled, tapped, and bolted to, we're just going to set her off to the back where it's better protected. My electric, electric base from my dial indicator. I haven't gasketed it up yet, but it's good enough for, for now. Got enough hose here to allow the table to move left and right. This guy half inch to three eighths. I'm going to screw right into the back of my bench. And you know what? Let's, uh, I got a shorter piece of tube tonight. Where did I put it? Put this one on the other side. I really like the idea of this being clear. Allows to see me. It allows me to see if there's any clogs or issues in the system. One return tube. Let me find my other one. Gas. Put some uh, sealant on that anyway. But this allows me to move. I call it wherever I want. Yeah? I know it's not a super complicated system, but tomorrow I am getting a coolant in the mail from Amazon. 
Uh, this mix is it's oil soluble, water soluble, water soluble oil, something like that. We'll mix up the batch and uh, fill it up and try her out. All right, guys, welcome back to the can. Been a couple. Oh, you gotta be shitting me! I literally just turned the camera on just in time for you guys to watch my damn tank homemade pressure fish tank explode. Son of a bitch. All right, so after my epic uh, fish tank, homemade square tank, whatever the hell you want to call it, failure. Uh, got a bucket, grabbed a lid. This literally took me a matter of, shit, maybe 90 seconds to put together. Longer to fill the bucket up, put some more uh, oil in it, which is this whole experience. The only thing I'm pissed off about is God, it just wasted all that six cups of oil. Damn it. So. Try to get fancy with it. Christ, could have been done days ago. Then again, I was waiting for Amazon to bring me my oil, so yeah, it was fun. Let's plug it in, see how this puppy works. And it doesn't. <laughs> Look at this crap. Get out of my way, light. I'm brand new. Make it from every goddamn joint. <sighs> okay, so what a complete disaster. First, oh, what I'm calling the fish tank explodes. Then with the loops and small tube it doesn't want to drain cut a draw a little hole on top as a vent hole I happen to be halfway decent at plumbing and instead of flowing it just comes up out of the weep hole so yeah, maybe it has to do with the oil in the water so uh, back to square one redo the entire goddamn thing Damn it. Uh, after, I don't know how many disasters, you guys just saw my tank explode in my colorful language. But uh, was it flowing properly back to the tank? And my little nozzle I bought was leaking from every single joint. And my tank exploded. My little homemade aquarium. So, let me show you what I did here. Uh, up to half inch, and also let a vent in here. Probably gonna cover this with just a piece of this here loosely. Let me shove a little bit in there just to keep chips out of it. Uh, replace my tank with a bucket. And ordered and got a new little hose I'm not even sure what the hell you call those things but my coolant system is now coolant flood system is actually properly working that's on full blast and you know that looks like 
Even my new one I ordered has a little bit of a leak. A lot better than the other one was. A little valve to control my flow. Now, I want to throw this out there. The other people that made videos on how they built their coolant system, please don't be afraid to show your failures because I could have learned a lot and saved myself some money on doing my own research for the system. Now, granted, what I have here is nothing special. There's a lot of videos out there that show exactly the same thing. However, mine just happens to have a, a little disaster effect to it. So, purpose of my video here is to explain to you my issues that I had. First of all, the aquarium. Now, yeah, failure. But I'm not going to spray fail on this. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop it apart and use it for another project. Um, the drain. Now, I need enough hose so that this table can move all the way to the left all the way to the right and the hose still has to flow back to the tank slash bucket um, an eventing issue I said eh. I had a vapor lock that caused an issue because of a loop in the hose at the bottom there uh, 3 8 hose was just too small uh, and the other thing I was thinking other than this is I got a couple of vents half inch NPT that would fit in here perfect from a hydraulic store uh, my scissor hoist that I built my dump system on my truck is a single acting cylinder power up gravity down so you need a vent in the cylinder to allow air to flow in and out so I might pick up to next trip out to my my uh, different hydraulic suppliers and put in here for something more permanent so that can't get shoved down um, other than that I actually have not used this yet, so maybe I'll go get a scrap piece of metal and drill a hole. Alright, so that's just step one on my milling machine. Now the next step is to build... Okay, so... I uh, built this electrical control, control box. Probably the biggest uh, junction box I've ever seen in person. Maybe not some industrial equipment, but. So inside this box, the three phase converter goes, the DC, the AC to DC converter, that's going to power my magnet uh, material holder for the pay, uh, work table, the table on the milling machine. Some toggle switches to control the pump and those magnets and on off box might go here and put this inside here and finally get this thing wired up properly now these chips that get in the fluid so we're worried about getting down into the tank and destroying the pump I got the filter on the pump so it helps save it but so I build a table here with magnets that go back and forth, electromagnets, turn on a switch, it holds material, drill it, mill it, whatever I need to do. Also going to make a filter system for the fluid to flow down through onto this table, but also catch the chips. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever, I appreciate any and all support. Um, I'm going to wire this, wire everything up. And probably not going to record that. I'm not an electrician and I don't want to be teaching something the wrong way. Uh, the only reason why I'm doing this is my electrician decided not to show up 
for two years. But anyway, so bring it back. Got an electric mag, uh, mag drill to build. My magnet table for this to build. And a lot more stuff to do. And why? Well, just because we can.